equally likely outcomes. What are equally likely outcomes? They are outcomes of an experiment having the same probability. For example, in the previous video, we were looking at the experiment of flipping a coin. And we saw that when, you, when we were flipping a coin, it could either land on a head or a tail. And we knew that they both had equally likely chances of landing on either. They had 50-50% chance. There were two outcomes and they had the same probability. Therefore, the probability of landing on a head was 0.5 and the probabi probability of landing on a tail was 0.5. Therefore, they were equally likely. The other experiment we were looking at was of rolling a dice. The same case goes over here, where each individual number from 1 to 6 have the same probability of landing on either side of the dice. So they had equally likely chances of landing on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They had the same probability as you can see over here. The probability of each outcome is the same 1 upon 6. And therefore these numbers, this experiment, is also equally likely. Equally likely chances of landing on either number. So to conclude, an equally likely outcome is when the outcomes of an experiment have the same probability. If you can identify in your question that this, these outcomes have equally likely chances of occurring, they will make your calculation so much simpler. And you, we use the formula probability of an event x is equal to the number of outcomes of interest divided by the total number of outcomes. So when you can identify that this question is of equally likely outcomes, you do not need to calculate each individual probability. In fact, depending on what the question is asking you, you simply need to, in your numerator, write the number of outcomes of your interest and divide it by the total number of outcomes. For example, let's say we're rolling a dice and the question asks you to find the probability of getting a number greater than 2. So if we need to find the probability of a number greater than 2, that means we need to find the probability of getting a 3, 4, 5, or 6. So rather than individually finding the probabilities of each outcome, rather than saying that, okay, the probability of getting a 3 is 1 upon 6, the probability of getting a 4 is 1 upon 6, and so on, we can simply use this formula. We can use this formula and say that the probability of getting a number greater than 2 is... Let's look at the formula. The numerator will have the number of outcomes of your interest. You have 1, 2, 3, 4. You have 4 outcomes of interest. So 4 divided by total number of outcomes, which is 6. So if you simplify this, you get 2 upon 3, which becomes your answer. So if you can identify that your experiment is of an equally likely outcome case, it makes your calculation so much simpler. You do not need to individually find the probabilities of each outcome. In fact, you can just see the number of outcomes which are of your interest and divided by the total number of outcomes.